Oh, wow. Look at that plane. Whose is it? Hey, Dizzy, that's my plane. Do you like it? Yo. Yeah, I do. Although, you've got one thing wrong. Oh, really? Yeah, it's my plane now. No, wait, it's not ready. I don't know why you say it wasn't ready. It sounds fine. It flies fine. And it is really, really cool. Although, hang on. What, what's going on? Uh, your plane. It might need fixing a little. Only a little bit, though. Dizzy? Yeah? Did you crash my plane? No! Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be making Aviation Tales in Robloxian High School. That's right, we're going to be making him and he's going to be a free item to make as well. You don't need the Game Pass, which is another awesome thing. So as you can see, starting off this whole thing, we are currently in a private server ready to get underway and create this new version of Tails, which to be fair has been out now for I think three or four days. I'm a bit late on it because usually there'll be an update and I'll be like, bam, I'm ready to try and create this character. And this time around, I kind of let it slip because I forgot there was an update, but that's okay. We can deal with this and get it sorted and built right now. Just take a quick look at my cool car. It's cool. Anyway, to start off with, go to the avatar editor, go down to reset, clear appearance, and then confirm. From there, you see your character look a bit like this which is a bit of a boring bob that's what we're gonna call him at least that's what i'm gonna call him so first off head to the body section go to the head and then search for less that's right you will find this one here select that and then you want to go to the arms and search for trick so as we're not going to use the same items for all of the uh, like the arms legs and torso we're going to go through just very quickly individually so we need to set both arms to be trick just like so then we need to set the legs to be boy just like this one here and then we need to do the other leg just like this and that's looking pretty good and then finally in this section we need to go to the torso where you want to search for bear and you've got two it doesn't matter which one you choose they're both the same different name but they give the same result so i'm going to choose that one and it gives you this lovely looking avatar right here so now we've done that we can go into the very exciting part of this whole build i say that very sarcastically and it's the build it's obviously the scaling so let's start off straight off the bat let's do this so the head scale we want is 0.81 upper width we're going to just expand this and i do sometimes get lost in all of these because they look a bit same same so i'm going to scroll it down and we're going to start with the upper body width where we're going to go with a 0.47 then the right arm width we want to make this a 0.54 and in the right upper arm we're going to make this a 0.35 and in the lower arm width we're going to make a 0.58 and then for the hand we're going to make it as a 0.69 so what we're going to do is just replicate what we've got in this arm just to go down here so what we're going to start with is the left upper arm width and we're going to just select this and go 0.35 and then the next one's going to be 0.58 Five, eight. although I've missed a zero would it accept that it does that's good to know and then finally on the hand you want 0.69 like so and then we move down to the torso where you're looking for this to be 0.34 and in the for the upper you want it to be 0.33 and then for the lower you want it to be 0.34 which then completes the upper body width so let's just expand this up and then just go through this one one at a time like we've done just with the one above and hopefully we can get through this very quickly to try and get to the items because that's where the more exciting stuff happens so let's get started on this part right arm depth we're going to go here we're only going to go it's going to 0.54 and then you're going to go 0.35 and and then you're going to go with 0.58 going to go here and end on 0.69 just like so and then we can replicate what we got here scroll down just a bit to get to the torso section for this area and we want it to be as it was before so 0.33 and 0.34 just like that and then we can close up the upper body depth we just breaks that's another one now done i'm just going to expand this very quickly just like so which will give us this here so let's get straight on it so right arm height i'm gonna put that as a 0.63 like so and then this one i'm gonna make it a 0 0.54 0 0.53 and then to finish off this arm it's 0 0.84 just like that so what we want to do is replicate these three here to the one below which is then both arms done so let's move to the torso where you're going to want to put 0.33 and then for the lower torso you're going to want to put 0.58 just like that 
and that's looking pretty cool and excitingly that leaves the upper half done which leads us now to the lower body width and let's get this one all done and dusted as well so let's start here and go for 0.45 then the next one we're going to want 0.27 likewise the next part is also 0.27 and then finally on the foot you're going to want that to be 0.79 just like so and then what we want to do is replicate this to down here ends this section here which is great because so we can now move over to the lower body depth and we can very quickly go through this so the lower body depth we've got here you want this to be 0.45 then leg depth you want it to be 0.45 as well and then the right upper you want it's 0.27 and then 0.27 and then finally the foot is going to be 0.79 looking good so i'm going to replicate what we got here just below so just like that this is exactly the same as the one above so that's nice it's symmetrical and then finally on this section we've got the lower body height to deal with which is just this here so let's expand these and get this underway so we've got 0.83 and again 0.83 and in the upper leg we have got 0.61 and then 0.87 and then we got oh this one's the right foot's a bit bit of a big one so it's 1.01 just like that and then we want to replicate what we've done here to the one below so as you can see i've just very quickly replicated what we got here to the one below and that's what we're going to probably end up doing a lot more in videos because it speeds it up and it's good to know so now we are done with the scaling for this time being and we've got our basic version of tails here looking not much like tails at all but that's fine because we now got to start adding the bits and pieces to bring it all together so what i'm gonna do next is to start looking at obviously adding some items so what we're gonna do is go to the accessories and i think first off let's search for keb to get the first item and this is the one you want now what we use keb for on this particular build is the eyes so now we've got a keb equipped we can now make this become the eyes because as you can see it's uh, not the right shape at all so let's get this underway and maximize this up and from here we can then go through so left and right we want to keep it zero up and down you want to have it as 0.30 and then with the front and back you want it as 0.96 96 that's quite a big one there and for the tilt you want it as 0.22 and then for the, the yaw you want zero roll again Again, zero scale you want to bring down to 0.69 and then for the width you want to bring it to 0.81 and then for the height we're going to make it slightly bigger by putting it 103 and for the depth you want to bring this to 0.43 and that will look like this which is pretty cool because it's going to start coming together very quickly now we can start adding all the items together so let's head over to the accessories and get the next item so on the hat section if you search for tails hopefully it brings it up it does indeed this is the one we want is the tails hat here annoyingly what i was going to say while we go to the tuning menu is for this particular build we wanted to get rid of the uh, three little bits of the hair on the front but we can't do that unless we want to rebuild the whole hat so i thought you know what instead of rebuilding the whole hat we'll just use this and have this protruding through um so it's going to be slight difference but it's not much and it will still look pretty cool as an overall character in my opinion now we've gone and added that let's go and get this all adjusted and sorted so what we want to do here is minus point 0 02 and in here you want to have it as minus 0 0.10 and then on tilt you want to leave it zero your you want to leave on zero roll we're going to leave it you guessed it on zero scale yep leave it on one width one height one and the depth we want to set to 0.88 just like so and that gives you the hat is to be the correct size for what we need on this build which is fantastic. So now we can move over to the next item, which if we go to the accessories, go to face and in search for again, tails, you'll get one result, which is this is exactly the one we want. So let's go and tune this up to become the whiskers because at the moment it's a bit on the big side. We need to make it smaller to fit the rest of the face that we're going to put together. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's start from the list. We've got left and right on zero up and down. It's going to be 20, obviously point 20 front back is going to be point 10, just like this. Then you've got zero. 0, 0, 0, and then we got 1, and then we got 1, and then we got 0.70, and finally on the bottom here you've got 0.76, just like that. And that is looking pretty cool. So soon we're going to start adding textures, and it's going to actually look the part. I'm actually really looking forward to it because I think you're going to be pretty happy with how this looks by the end. So back to the accessories, as we have been in the last two places. So what you want to do is search for eye, and I would choose this one here. I think it normally ends up down here somewhere, but because I favorited it, it's at the top. But this is what we're going to use and we have used it multiple times for this exact reason Which is mainly the head of the character and that's exactly what we're going to make it be So let's get it all into place to make it look pretty good So the up and down we're going to have it as 0.74 The front and back it needs to be a minus 0.24 and that's looking pretty cool 
tilt zero, your zero, roll zero, scale is 0.56, width is going to be 1.14, and the next is going to be one, and then it's going to be 0.84, and that leaves us done with the head, which hopefully will be tucked up in the hat, which it does look to be just here, because once we blend into orange, it's going to merge it and make it look like a full head, which is exactly what we want to achieve with this item. So as we're still working on the head and it's starting to come together, which is really cool, I'm going to go back to the accessories and we're going to search for another item we use quite often, which is alien. And the one you're going to want to use is this one here. This is the fella you're going to want to equip and it will look like this. And at the moment it looks absolutely ridiculous. But if you know what we're going to use this for, then that's cool. If you don't, well, you're just about to find out, but mainly it's going to be acting as the divider between the eyes for tails. And if you don't know what I mean by that, you will very, very quickly see what we're about to do and why it works. So if I can do that properly with a 0.79 for the front and back and the tilt, you're going to want it to be minus 0.97, just like that. The yaw, you're going to want that to a big number here, minus 3.14. And then that leads us to the roll, which we're going to leave zero. The scale, we're going to put to 0.30. And then for the width, we're going to go to 0.52. And then for the height, we're going to maximize that. And likewise, the depth, we're going to leave for one. And then we can minimize this because it's now in place. And let's have a very quick look at it so you can see what I'm on about here. So you can see this little divider piece here. Once we put the texture on for the eyes, it will kind of act as a separator. If you see any image of tails, you'll see that this is quite necessary because most of the drawings that have tails do have this there. And that's what we're just replicating. I can see it kind of protrudes off the top, but in this build, it doesn't matter too much because we're about to put a on his head which is going to hide it all lovely jubbly so speaking of the pilot hat let's go to the accessories and then go to the hat and search for pilots and that will give you many results but we only want one of these which is this one down here which is called the pilot hats straight and easy enough so with that being said the up and down let's start here we want to make this a minus 0.28 and then with the front and back, we're going to make it 004, just like so. And then likewise with the tilt, we want to have a little bit of the tilt, just like that with the 0 0.04. And then for the scale, we're going to bring that up to 0 0.10, and then 1, and then 1, and in here, we're going to finish off with a 0.84. And that is the hat now done. Nice and quick, nice and easy, and it's looking pretty cool. So let's head to the next item where you want to search for... So it turns out I'm looking in the wrong place, and we actually want to go to the face section. And then when you're here, search for depth desert which will give you these five items and the one you want is this one here which are the desert goggles so let's go and tune this and put it into place at the top where you got a one zero and then up and down is a minus 0.27 and then from here is a zero nine like so and in the tilt you've got it as minus 0.21 and with that it's got zero you got zero you got maximum on the scale you got to 1.113 and then you got one and then to finish off you got 0.95 so hopefully we're not going too fast through these bits but um that will give you the goggles that we need for the on his head for the helmet so with that being said let's get to the next item so as we're going through this build, I've noticed we're missing something that's quite essential for Tails, which is his tail. Obviously, his tail is his tail. This one here, we haven't yet equipped it. So let's just get this put into place and very quickly set this to be where we need it. I don't think this actually needs too much tweaking. I'm pretty sure it's the case of just trying to make it physically bigger because it's a bit on the small side. So that's what we're going to do here is just bring it up. So it's maximum up to 120, but everything else can stay as it is because we're now done with the tails as tails for now. We're getting through this pretty quickly, which is awesome because it also means that we get to see the final character soon because at the moment it looks a bit random with all the items I've just kind of slapped together. But without the textures, it's difficult to kind of visualize what we're about to get. So let's go to the next section where you want to go to neck. And then from here, you want to search for white fold and it'll give you one result which is this is exactly the one we're after and we do need to tweak this a little bit to make it fit with the jacket that we need to import next so with that being said let's go through this very quickly so the front and back sorry is 03 like this so the tilt needs to be minus 0.17 just like this looking good the yaw needs to be zero roll is zero scale is a hundred or one even let's expand this and go down width is one uh, the height i set to maximum which is 1.20 and that is one and that 
is the scarf done and dealt with and it's now on and looking pretty cool so now we're missing some big pits here and i know we've still got an item to put in or to import and search for but before we do that what i want to do is actually get some clothing imported because at the moment it's just the standard gray box the gray texture sorry that you get as uh you know building a character from scratch once you clear them so let's get something put on him and we'll try this code first and use this texture here which is tails to fox the shirt so let's apply this and then let's apply the pants after as well so we're going to use this code here don't forget that all of these um, codes and texture codes and everything we're about to use is going to be in the description below for you to use so now we've equipped those i've realized we need to paint the hands and that's exactly what we're going to do next so get some white paint paint his hands white and like that we're looking pretty good so that's fine we'll leave that as is but what we can do at this point if we go to clothing i need to now try and find the uh, jacket that we've now got so what we need to do is search for aviator and to spell that is like this and what we want i believe is this one here it is indeed it's the aviator bomber jacket so let's equip this and as it looks now you can probably visualize how it's going to come together but you wait once we start getting the textures put into place that's when you'll really notice the difference and that's what we're about to do which is the most exciting part because it brings it all together now there is one texture as i speak at this moment in time recording this that is still not finished up and working and which is really annoying and that is for the goggles so now we've done that let's start with care retexture with the eyes so let's just get rid of this and what we want to do is use this code here which hopefully will if i type it incorrectly will give us the eyes that we're after that looks good so i'm going to reuse the mechanic tail eyes because they're exactly the same and they work really well so like that looking good already so with the uh texture of the hat I'm going to use this one, which will be hopefully another one that I've done. And I think it's exactly the same, but it's a slightly lighter shade of orange to match it. Because you can see here, it's slightly darker than what the actual costume is. That's the back of the head here. So we need to make this one basically an orange. And to do that, we're going to use this code to make that come true. And I'm going to copy this. So I think there's another item I need to make orange in a minute. Next is the alien, which I think is the other one we need to make orange. So as I've got it copied, let's just paste the code in there and apply that. And that's starting to look the part. Come on, you've got to think it's looking pretty cool. We've almost got tails the aviation version of tails at least nearly done at this point so next is the helmet this is the next biggest change that we're going to apply to here so let's do this and with the helmet what we want to do is add this code and hopefully it loads correctly because i've only uploaded these about three hours ago and it took so long for them to come through but yes it's come through and it's looking good ah this is good it's coming together it's coming together really nicely so the code we're going to want to use for the goggles is going to be this one here and like i say hopefully by tomorrow uh when you guys see this it will finish uploading and be working again but as you can see i've called in a tails goggles it's by my other account where i use for textures and it's just staying white at the moment i don't know why so now we've done the goggles let's go to the tails which again so this is one we're going to want to set as the tails itself so the code you want is this one just here many sevens i have one too many sevens there you go that's better so that will brighten up this tail now so watch this and then boom. just like that is much brighter and a better looking orange of tails and the last thing to do is the jacket which is the biggest one that took me a bit of time to make but i think it came out pretty cool and i hope you agree as well so that's the code we need it, it understands it that's good as you can see it doesn't look like much but actually getting it in the right place for it to locate itself on the jacket correctly took me a little while and it was a little bit annoying but we got there and if i apply this you can now see what i mean so we've got the arm badge with the green kind of texture behind it you've got the emblem on the back and obviously you've got the pockets at the front and the little white strip that goes down the middle which if you play sonic speed simulator you'll see these little details on there the green might be slightly darker but again it's all minor but it all looks the part which is what counts so just a quick reminder obviously with the goggles they are set to the default textures at the moment because my custom ones are not loading which is really disappointing but it's not the end of the world because he still looks the part so if you liked it leave a like subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.